So my dad is both half Lebanese and half Armenian, and so is my mom. My dad grew up in Lebanon, and um, he had a big family, and um, it was like well known around there. And then when his dad had a brain tumor and passed away, their family kind of felt like betrayed by the West, rest of their family that was in Lebanon. And the whole war was going on as well, so they just said that we just have to leave. After his passing, we went down to the down to uh, Tripoli, and going to school, we had to go to school at night. So the bombs were coming down, the house was shaking, and that's when my mom said, hey man, forget everything, we're out. So after they immigrated, they both ended up in LA, and my mom's best friend was my dad's sister. And my sister told me to come in, try on some shoes, and she introduced us, and next thing I know that, here we are. As kids, we always just looked at them as they are now, you know, but it's kind of crazy to think that our age, they were changing countries or even younger than that. And they, they came to a country where they didn't speak the language at all. And then the next day they were at all American schools. And it's weird to think how much of a change can happen. And I think that just the way that they've raised me and my two brothers is amazing. I think that's really set us, our standards high. And, to see how really great we could become. They work hard to get here. I didn't do anything. Uh, it's, it's literally all them, you know, academic wise, the sacrifice of staying up late to study and so forth. But uh, being on the field, it was one of those moments that I literally broke down and cried by. I remember when we were, when Tony was going to be a freshman in high school, we walked on the field. And I kind of said, hey, when you're here, I want you to imagine that you're getting paid $50,000 a year. I don't have money, but I'll sell everything I got to put you in a better education. So if whatever it takes, just for me, for the sake of the family, put yourself in that position. And, uh, you know, God bless him. You know, he's got a great head on his shoulder. And after signing day, he kind of said, look, Dad, I think we did it. You know, one of those deals. And I shared the same thing with, my, uh, with Patrick. You know, so thank God, they, uh, they both work hard. We're very grateful to have such an amazing family and have such an amazing culture and how my grandmas and my un uncles and aunts have raised us just as much as my parents raised us. And I think that that's a big thing that just in our culture, that family is everything, you know, and um, family is really big to us and what we accomplish, it's like a, it's a, it's a family thing. It's a family.